Hello and welcome to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. In this episode, what we're going to be doing is fitting a modified rope seal kit to a Massey Ferguson 135 with the AD3152 engine. You're also going to find these rope seals and you can fit this kit to early three-cylinder Massey Ferguson 35s, Dexters, and they were found in some early four-cylinder Perkins engines. So I hope you enjoy. Hello, welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. As you can see, I'm back on the Massey Ferguson 135. So when I took this apart, it obviously it had the rope seals, which obviously sit like that around the crankshaft. Now, they're good, all right? There's nothing wrong with them, all right? But what they need to, be do, need, need to do is soak them in oil. I've got a jam jar. All right, which I've got these in and I've got ones for boards and majors as well in. So they're constantly soaking, they're, they're impregnated with oil. So hopefully when we put them in, it will mold round the crankshaft, all right, and hopefully it won't leak. Sadly, these ones were put in dry, as we can see. All right, there's, all right, there, there was no real oil pregnated into these. So this one just leaked and leaked. Okay, but what we're going to do is something different with this one is we're going to fit one of these, okay, which is a modified, modified seal. So the carrier is pretty much the same as what we've got down there, it's two pieces, but this time it's a rubber seal. All right, it's a double lipped seal, okay, so that's what we're going to fit. All right, and it let us, uh, this is kind of a step-by-step -step procedure on how to do it. First of all, all right, what we want, we need to make this a bit soft and a bit pliable, all right? So what we need to do is get some water, all right? And it's about 80 degrees. If we don't want boiling water, all right, we just want to make it a bit pliable so we can squeeze it over here, all right? So I'm just gonna lay that in a tray and just pour just a bit of hot water over it. The seal is in the warm water, softening up. What we could do while that is doing, I've already done this, all right, just to save a little bit of time, is cleaning all this up, all right? Make sure you get all the old oil, old carbon, old bits of gasket, get all that out of the way. Clean it and clean it again. I did this with a razor blade and some Scotch Brite and a bit of WD-40 and that's come up fairly clean. We're gonna get our seal in a moment and what we need to do is stretch it over this. It needs to be clean, all right? Now, if you can see in there, that's the surface that our seal is gonna run on. Now, there's also these little lines in there. So with the normal rotation of the engine, all right, so as that's going round, these little lines here go the opposite way. So what they should do, in theory, is when the oil gets on there, it should pull it back, back towards the engine, the opposite side of the seal. We're gonna put this modified seal on, so we need to be fairly, we need to be really careful with this, when we're putting it over this edge, all right? It feels okay, but there could be a little sharp piece on it. So we'll get some, insulating tape and get the edge and then what we'll do we'll just put that around the edge it will help when we put it together all right so there we go so that's on there so all those little sharp edges should be out of the way in the kit we get these two springs, all right? So which are gonna go around the seal to help it nip down on top of the riding surface of the crankshaft. So just put one to one side for the moment and get one. And what we wanna do, it's a bit awkward and my hands are gonna get in the way as you see in this. We've got a little taper on that end. So one goes into the other and screws it together. So we now put it together, so very gently, just roll it down and around. And then there it is. 
on there. So that is the back spring for our seal. Our seal has been in the water, so it's softened up a little bit. Get a little bit of oil or a little bit of grease, all right, and then just put around here. I like using grease because it tends to sort of stick where you put it. And if, generally, if the oil is on there, it will just sort of run and you might have a little thin bit where there's no oil. So there we go. So that's all on there. Here's our seal. So this time, all right, this is the sort of bit of a, a nerve wracking part because what we need to do is get that over the top. So it's softened up. Keep turning it. And then you, you drop it. It is awkward. I'm trying not to get in the way of the camera so you can all see. And there we go. So, just twist this round a bit. And there is it on. All right, yes, it is nerve wracking, but it will go, it's made to go over there. Also, we've got this little chamfer on the um, end of the crankshaft, which will help it go on. Get rid of the grease for a moment, because we put that spring on first of all. So if we can see in there, I need to try and sort of hold it back. We can see our spring, and what we need to do is, it's hard to see, there's a little recess in there. So what we need to do is lift that spring and get it into that little recess on there. All right, so I've got this little pick here. I've had this one for ages. It's not sharp on the end, so you want something that's blunt, all right? Because what you don't want to do is dig that into the seal. What we need to do is try and hook the spring Sometimes, if we can see that, how I've done it. So what you need to do is give it a bit of a twist, hold it with your finger, and then bring your finger all the way round, come back that way. I will put it back so you can see. And there it is on. So that's the back seal on. Now, what we need to do is get the front one on. There's our second spring, little taper on the end, and there it is together, all right? Leave your tape on there. It's not doing any harm at the minute. So what we want to do is slide this over so we can see that. So I'm just going to just come around, come around, and there we go. All right, it will just fit itself into place. So. With that, here is, that's our seal on. Here is the bottom, well, th there's, there's, there's no top and bottom to the, this carrier, so it's whichever end you pick up. So what we need to do is fit that underneath. So we get the top one. Lucky enough, we've got two little locators on there. So once it goes together, we know that is in the right place. If we look on there, it sticks out on that edge there which is pretty much the same thickness as the, um, the rubber seal. So what it means, we can't over tighten it. All right, it will go, that will bottom out on the block. All right, so we can't over tighten it. We can't distort that seal. It's gonna be nice and tight on there and fingers crossed, all right, it will, it will help us with the uh, sealing. So what we'll do, we'll get the bottom one. You use the same bolts which come out. You must probably notice that there's the, the anti-rattle lock washers. I haven't got any at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fit these old ones, but tomorrow when I go out, I'm gonna get the runs and I'll change them. All right, but for this demonstration, we, can, we know what to do. Up and underneath, you'll feel it goes into the holes where the seal is, and obviously where our original holes are. So I'll just get, get them in there finger tight. So it just sort of just holds it in place. You know, one underneath, I know you're not gonna see this one, which is sometimes the more, sometimes a bit awkward, this one. Here's a little bit of trial and error as you're moving along to try and get these to, to line up. So do it however it suits you best. Now these kits I have on the shelf, they also come with um, fitting instructions as well. All right, so it's pretty simple. It's just a matter of just taking your time. Now sometimes when you get these, you see the difference? There's a thin one and a thick one. You can see that. Generally try and get your thin one behind there. It's gonna make life a lot easier. Pop my little locators in. 
And what we'll do, we'll pass these, put that in. Make sure you get everything started on the threads, all right, before you sort of move on to the next piece. We've now got our longer bolts, all right, which obviously gonna clamp it down. So obviously put them in, there's one. Let's get the other one. We can only tighten that back so far because it's gonna bottom out on the um, uh, back of the engine block. So what we need to do is just do these pinch ones up first. You could always get a um, socket on these. So we'll just, I haven't, these are just the two spanners I had at the time. So try and do them up evenly. So we'll get this one so it's sort of starting to bottom out. You just, there we go. And then the other side. And then what we'll do, we'll just nip these ones up very slightly as well. Try and go diagonals, all right? So we, we want it to fit nice and square. Now I'm sure there's gonna be some people saying, well, why have you put this modern seal in this, um, in this tractor. It's been modified. It's trying to make life a little bit simpler and why not help this little engine along by putting a modern seal into it. It's behind everything. It's not gonna change the look of the tractor, but it just might make your life that little bit easier. So we'll just nip them round. They start to bite. Now we've got the top ones. Now this seal obviously in the AD um, 152 engine or AD3 152 engine, little Perkins on the early 135s, they will have this seal. The 35s will have this seal. Also some of the early four cylinder Perkins engines, like the ones that are in the Massey Ferguson 65 and even the little Fords and Dexter has this seal in it as well. All right, which I will do another little video on fitting it to a Fords and Dexter as well. So you just feel it bottom out, you, can, you won't see it on the camera, but you can see the seal start to squeeze out of the sides. All right, so that one's nipped up, nip them up, and then what we're gonna do is do the clamps, and then we'll go around and tighten all these six up. Just a bit awkward. Let's just nip these ones up. That one. Now this one. Now what we'll do, we'll take this off. Give it a quick wipe. And there is the new modified seal fitted. Here's our new modified seal fitted. It's coming out the sides a bit but it's down as far as it'll go because like I said, it's bottomed out on there. If we can look down there, we can see the other edge of the seal poking out through the front of the um, carrier, little blue piece in there. Here is the seal fitted, okay? So that's that job done. So I hope you've enjoyed that video, all right? If you, let's say you enjoyed it, please, please click like. Any questions, put them in the comments and I'll do my very best to um, answer you as soon as I can. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.